Okay, so back in SNS console, creating the topic, and the next thing that we're gonna talk about is the delivery status logging. Uh, we can see that it's an optional. So what is it saying here? These settings configure the logging of message delivery status to CloudWatch logs. And I'll tell you a little bit about the history or like how this used to be before this feature existed. Um, when, when I was using SNS, well, I still use SNS, but a few years ago when I was using it, I always had the problem where a customer would come to me or like a customer that is subscribed to my topic. They would come to me and say, hey, Daniel, we're not getting messages from your topic or we didn't get a specific instance of a message, say for a particular order in our customer ordering example that we're talking about here. They would say, hey, we never got this message. Can you go and check what happened? And I had no recourse because from the producer side, all you know is that you publish the message into SNS and then that's it. Like you, SNS handles delivering it to the customer. So you don't really know whether that got successfully delivered to the customer or not. So there's this kind of disconnect that happens between you, the topic owner and the customer who is the subscriber. So that's what this feature attempts to solve for you. Um, so when we open this box here, the first thing that we're asked is we want a log delivery status for these protocols. So we can set the different protocols that we want to qualify uh, for delivery success logging. So I use lambdas a lot, SQS is good as well. Like whatever you're using here, that's what you want to use. Now, this is where it gets interesting, the success sample rates. So it says it's the percentage of successful message deliveries to your logs. Now, if you set this as 100%, I would just caution you if you do, because what that means is that every single message that you publish, you're gonna get a corresponding log line in CloudWatch. And CloudWatch logs are pretty expensive. I think it's like 50 cents per 5 GB, something like that, don't hold me to it. But if you have a lot of throughput on your SNS topic, there's gonna be a ton, a ton of logs, especially if you, you have a, a high fan out factor. So if this topic, for instance, has like a hundred subscribers or something, that means you're gonna be logging for every single instance of a message that gets pushed to the topic. If this is set at 100%, you're gonna be logging a hundred different log lines for each subscriber to see if that message got successfully delivered or not. So. It's, it's fine if you wanna do this, just be careful with it because your costs can very easily get out of control. Now, the alternative thing is like, we can use some number in between, like maybe 50%, right? And this kind of gives you a better degree of, um, or better measurement of whether or not your service is working correctly. But I kind of feel like this is like an all or nothing kind of thing because you know, if you set it to 100%, you get everything. But if you set it to 50%, you only get half. So if we revisit the problem that I just talked about, where like a customer comes to me, says, Daniel, I didn't get the message. If this thing is only at 50%, then I can't really tell if I can't confirm that they got the message due to the sampling rate missing it, or due to some kind of other failure that occurred. So that's the reason that I say this is all or nothing. So if you're gonna use this, you probably wanna use 100%. Just be aware of some of the ramifications if you do that because it can get expensive very, very quickly.